Prince Caspian, The Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis, is the fourth book in the Narnia series by publication order and the second in in-universe chronological order. It's a story of adventure, faith, and the struggle for rightful rule. The novel begins with the Pavenzi children, Peter, Susan, Edmund, and Lucy, awaiting a train to take them to boarding school. Suddenly they are whisked away to an island in the magical world of Narnia. They quickly recognize the place as the ruins of Caer Paravel, where they reigned as kings and queens in the past. Narnia, however, has changed during their absence. Centuries have passed, and the talking animals and other Narnians have been driven into hiding by men known as Telmarines, who have taken control of the land. In this changed Narnia, the rightful king, Prince Caspian, has been displaced by his treacherous uncle, King Miraz. When Caspian's heritage is revealed, Miraz seeks to kill him to secure the throne for his newborn son. Caspian flees into the forest and encounters the old Narnians, who see in him a leader who can inspire a rebellion against Miraz. Caspian accepts this charge and prepares for war, blowing Queen Susan's magical horn to summon help, which the children later learn is the tool that brought them back to Narnia. The four siblings embark on a quest to find Caspian and help him reclaim his throne. They are joined by the dwarf Trumpkin, who initially doubts them but comes to believe that they are the kings and queens of old. As they journey, they encounter Aslan, the great lion and true king of Narnia, although only Lucy sees him initially. The others, except for Susan, come to see him as well after various degrees of skepticism and disbelief. The children play different roles in the coming conflict. Peter, the High King offers to challenge Miraz to single combat to prevent unnecessary loss of life. His challenge is accepted, and he fights Miraz in a duel. During this combat, treachery from Miraz's own lords leads to his fall. This ignites a full-blown battle between Caspian's Narnian forces and Miraz's Telmarine army. Meanwhile, Aslan roams the countryside, awakening trees and other creatures of old Narnia, building an army of his own to support Prince Caspian. As Susan and Lucy accompany him, they witness the joyous renewal of the land and the liberation of the oppressed creatures. The decisive battle is a fierce one, with the old Narnians and Peter's forces facing significant challenges. However, the battle's tide turns with Aslan's arrival and the support of the newly awakened creatures. Caspian, who has been tutored in the ways of old Narnia by his mentor, Dr. Cornelius, comes to fully embrace his role as the leader of the Narnians. He is introduced to Aslan and acknowledges his rightful place as a servant of the true Narnian king. Aslan offers the defeated Telmarines a choice, to stay in Narnia under Caspian's rule, accepting the old Narnians as equals, or to pass into a new world free of fear from the creatures of Narnia. This new world is revealed to be Earth, with Aslan explaining that the Telmarines are actually descendants of pirates from our world who had stumbled into Narnia. The story ends with the Pevensey children returning to their own world, the same moment they left, with the understanding that Peter and Susan will not return to Narnia as they have grown too old. Edmund and Lucy, however, are told they may have another journey in their future. Through courage, faith, and the rightful exercise of power, Prince Caspian explores themes of restoration and justice as the true king is restored to the throne and the world of Narnia is returned to its intended harmony under Aslan's watchful eye. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.